Hey, this is Tim Talks, and today it's another review about headphones, but it is not about the Bang & Olufsen. I have moved on, or not, but it's still about something else, so... Intro! Yet another review about a pair of headphones, but this time it's all about the JBL E45BT. That stands for Bluetooth. Now this is a pair of less expensive headphones, but I will argue that the quality is not less good or less better. Or Let's get into it. I work as a sound guy and in my field, the JBL PA system has really started to kind of just force their way into the market because they actually make some pretty good products. When I saw this pair, I thought I might get this because they might sound pre pretty good. And also, they seem to look really good. I've been wearing them for about a month now and listening to them. Switch in between my Bang & Olufs and then my Sennheiser and my other stuff and to compare them truly to what it is. This is what I came up with. So, first of all, let's go into the very boring part. Let's say, okay, so the specs. It has JBL signature sound. Whatever the hell that means. It has 16 hour battery time. It takes two hours to charge them. They come with a cable. Whenever the battery wears out, you can still run the cable and it only fits JBL in one end and some mini jack in the other end. They go all the way down from 20 Hertz. That's the low end. So they go all the way up to, tw to 20 kilohertz, which is the top end. They have a 4.0 Bluetooth connection, which is pretty new. So now they come in four different colors like, well, two colors and two tints, blue and red and black and white. Nerdish. It's a pair of on-ear headphones, which means that they rest on the ear and not around the ear. Like I said before, I have been using these for the last months and I'm actually quite pleased with them. Let's go into the real review. Let's go into what it is that we really want to know whenever we see one of these because the specs and whatever this can is pretty. The design. The design is quite slick. It is mostly plastic except for this metal thing whenever you turn them up and out and out. It has a pretty soft cushion. It has some nylon thing around the top part. There is some sort of cushion the rest on your head and also there's a JPL up here. Now you can pack them together so you can put them in a bag or in a purse or whatever. They don't take up as much space. Also, whenever you have them around your head and you want to put them around your neck, you can do like that, which is actually pretty nice because then then they doesn't feel as choking as this which this is not that bad but you can go for both things also if you are a DJ do that thing around standing around here and being really cool and doing the scratchy scratchy scratch thing like I said it is real plasticky but you don't really have the feeling of this being vulnerable you kind of feel that they are quite sturdy so the plastic thing doesn't really bother it's just that's what it is number two the sound. Now the sound is the important thing. I might just say in the beginning that the bass, there could be more bass. It's not that the bass is not there, it's just compared to more expensive brands. But the thing is about these that if you're not really into that Beats by Dre bass, like really over the top, like really ugly sounding Beats by Dre, Dre really sucks. This is really good because the bass is still there. It's just not as, it doesn't punch the bass into your ear. Now, the spectrum here is actually really cool because usually when I talk about the Bang & Olufsen, and I say they have a nice sound, which means that they have like a scooped out middle end. Now, there are some frequencies here that are lowered, but not a whole lot. It's actually more linear, which means that you hear a lot more. It's a very, very big sound that you get from these things. You can hear a lot more details. When I started listening to this, I started hearing songs that I have been heard, listening to a hundred times. And when I started listening with these, I actually started hearing new stuff. The thing is that whenever you put this on, you get like a, like, it's like a grand experience of sound. It's like a big sound. These will definitely deliver a really good and really clear sound. The works. How do they work with my phone? Well, the connection is really quick. They just latch on really, really quickly. And the thing is that you have a button here that you press and that sets us into pairing mode. And then you have your start stop up and down. And I actually just learned that JPL has made the up and down the switch in between the songs, which actually kind of makes sense. This, I didn't figure this out until quite recently. And 
that annoyed me a little that I couldn't switch in between songs. I use an iPhone, it works great with my iPhone, I haven't really lost any connection or anything, it's just, and actually I can walk quite far away from my phone as well and they will still keep the connection, so. The comfort and the design is actually quite good because one of the things I like about this is I actually quite like the design on them because they're quite small. They could have had a little more cushion, but I've been wearing them for hours at the time and I have had no problems with them. So, so what do I think about this? Well, this has been quite a quick review. I think that this is probably the best bang for the buck that you can get. They are a hundred dollar pair of headphones. The sound is actually really awesome compared to some of the more expensive models. Like if you take the Bang & Olsen, the Bang & Olsen has a nice sound, which means that you won't get annoyed by anything, but you will hear much more with these. These really deliver a really good, really strong sound. If someone told me, well, you can have these or you can have the Bang & Olsen H8, which is the version Bang & Olsen made that are similar to these with small cups, I would probably go for the H8s because they do have more bass. These are definitely getting to stay in my arsenal of headphones. So if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel and please give me a like on this video. I like it so much. This has been a quick little video. I haven't really gone into too much details, but that's because I'm quite busy with other stuff, other videos, other videos for companies. So I will get back to doing more later, but right now I'm just doing quick videos for you guys because you really respond to my videos and I'm quite happy about that. Like I said before, subscribe to my channel, like this one, just smash that like button and without any further ado, stay creative and have a very, very, very nice day.